right, welcome back. Well, if you recall yesterday, we glued the soundboard on the body of the guitar. You can see here I've removed the weights from it. I've taken it out of the form. Because what I want to do now is I want to put this on another jig that I have uh, that I created last time. And I'm gonna just going to trim off uh, this lip, if you will, of the face. Uh, get that kind of close trimmed. I'm going to put it back in the form. Flip this back over on the actual form that I formed the cup of the soundboard on, the same form. I'm going to lay it on there, and then we'll put the back plate on and put weight on that. The reason I'll put it back on that is so that the, the cup all remains the same, and I'm not pressing uh, the face flat if you know when I put all the weight uh, back on the back side of it, So if that makes sense. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So what I want to do now, uh, I've also cleaned out a little bit of the excess glue that was in there. So I'll set this aside for a second. I have a jig here that allows me to uh, put the body on here. Uh, these are slotted with some uh, wing nuts that I can thumb tighten. Uh, it's got a little rubber stop here that kind of holds the body of the guitar. And what I'll do is I'll put the, the guitar in here and hold it in place, and I'm gonna move it around on this jig. This jig holds my trimmer. It's on a uh, regular um, drawer slide. It's got a little piece of uh, Teflon on the bottom here, plastic. Uh, you could use a number of plastic, something that's gonna be somewhat smooth and just uh, uh, kind of ride on the face of the guitar. And this will allow it to kind of move up and down, and this will stay perpendicular to the um, sides of the guitar um, so that it trims properly. So uh, another one I created last time. So let's put the, let's put the body in here. I've got a rough outline on here so I know roughly where it should go. Tighten these down. Now I want this thing to stay fairly tight in here so um, don't be too bashful with it snug it in there really good you don't want it moving around okay the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work um, I'm going to rotate, I should say, with the router bit. I'm not going to go against it. Um, you know, when you take a trimmer and you take it, I believe it's counterclockwise, the bit is cutting into the direction that you're moving. I actually don't want to do that. Uh, on these materials on a guitar, I just always choose to go the other way. You can, uh, there's a lot of videos out there. You'll see guys and they'll draw, okay, right here, I'm going to go with the grain. So I'm going to go with the router bit back here. I'm going to go across it. So I'm going to go against the router bit and they kind of, they move it around on the body, depending on where you're at. I found out on my last guitar, um, just to stop any opportunity from grabbing that grain, I just go and rotate with the router bit. So uh, you'll see here when we go around this, uh, how that works. You get some glasses on and we'll show you. All right, now you'll see here, I'm only gonna take a little bit off at a time, so I'm probably gonna make a couple rotations on this. Probably speed up the film so you're not having to watch the whole thing. Um, but I'm just gonna take a little bit off at a time because there's several spots that there's quite a bit uh, hanging off here. And obviously I don't wanna grip a bunch of that and rip it. so. Uh, we'll just take a little bit at a time. All right, you can see there, close trimmed, kind of close cut. 
Uh, didn't do any finished sanding. I guess another thing to keep in mind is I noticed this the first time is that uh, um, your bearing that does follow the body along does kind of leave like a um, shiny spot on the side of the wood. So actually um, I left all my finished sanding. Last time I did more finished sanding before I did the trimming. This time I'm kind of holding off. And the only real finish sanding I did was on that uh, butt inlay that I had mentioned that I forgot to show you the other day that I'll show you on my other guitar. So what we'll do is we'll put this back in the form, uh, get this placed uh, on the form that I actually did the bracing for the face of the guitar, again, to hold the cup shape, and then we'll get the back glued on and weighted down. So far, so good. <laughs> 